Hi everyone! This is Dr. Gator Vedovitas and I am on my second week of the Enhanced Community Quarantine. So I've prepared another video for you, this time on how to boost our immune system. The COVID-19 has impacted a lot of communities and individuals worldwide and with no treatment or vaccines available yet, marami nagtatanong, is there anything that we can do to boost our immune system or protect ourselves from the virus? It might come as a surprise to some of you, but our skin, the largest organ of the body, is actually part of the immune system. It is our first line of defense against the external environment. It is actually a very active part of the immune system because it is working 24-7 to keep all the toxins, all the pathogens, and microbes out. In addition to that, it also protects us from pollution, UV radiation, and physical stresses. In this video, I'm gonna talk about, very briefly, what our immune system is, how it works, and how it protects us against viruses, and I'm gonna mention simple and easy things that we can do to boost our immune system. So what exactly is the role of our immune system? Our immune system works by protecting us from external factors that may be harmful to our bodies. So kasama na dito yung mga viruses, fungus, bacteria, even toxins. It is so smart that it's able to distinguish and differentiate foreign objects from our own body cells. More specifically, and more relevant to our current situation right now, how does our immune system work or protect us against viruses? Viruses are very special microorganisms that need a host to survive. So in order for it to get into our bodies, nagahanap siya ng pwede niyang pasukan. It can be a cut or a wound, it can be through our stomach, or even a respiratory system. And once they get inside, they start to multiply and that's when we get sick. When our immune cells detect the viruses, they automatically launch an attack to find them and remove them from our body. If we get infected for the very first time, our body produces cells called antibodies which are specific to the virus that affects us. Now this process doesn't happen overnight. It usually takes a few days to weeks. The good news is the antibodies that we produce stay with us forever. So in the future, halimbawa, ma-expose ka to the same virus, our body's ready to fight it, and you don't get sick again. To be able to do all of this to protect us from bacteria, viruses, etc., our immune system should be strong, efficient, and in full working order. Now, how do we boost our immune system? Fortunately, there are many ways that are simple and easy that won't cost you anything. First is proper hand washing. I don't need to remind you about this. I'm sure experts na kayong lahat. Number two, make sure that you manage your stress levels. I know that a lot of us are thinking about a lot of things na natigil because of what's happening right now. But when you're stressed, your body is not able to function properly and your body produces stress hormones that may suppress your immune system. Number three, Get enough restful sleep and develop good sleeping habits. Our immune system cannot work well if we don't sleep enough. It is recommended that we get 6 to 7 hours of sleep and try to stick to a regular sleeping and waking up schedule. Number 4, load up on your vitamin D. Our bodies need adequate amounts of vitamin D to produce antimicrobial proteins that kill viruses and bacteria. Buti na lang, our bodies can make vitamin D on its own. Just a few minutes of sun exposure, preferably from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., huwag naman yung tanghaling tapat because it can damage your skin, is enough to produce the vitamin D that your body needs. Number five, stop smoking. Smoking damages your blood vessels, your airways, and the small sacs that are found in your lungs. Smokers are said to be more susceptible to developing complications and may have worse outcomes when they actually get the virus. Number six, try to stay active, move about, and exercise in moderation. So I'm not saying na pagurin mo yung sarili mo. What's important is that you move about, do something non-strenuous, and do something that you enjoy. Endorphins that are produced when you exercise actually help boost your mood and reduce your stress levels. Number seven, make sure that you stay hydrated. On average, men need to drink about 3.5 liters of fluids per day while women need about 2.7. So this includes fluids that you get from your food and your beverages. Of course, this is just an estimate and it will all depend on your lifestyle, your activity, and your environment. Number eight, if you plan on drinking, make sure that you consume alcoholic beverages in moderation. Excessive and frequent alcoholic beverage intake may change your gut microflora and it can also damage your lungs and your liver. Binge drinking is also said to temporarily dampen your immune system. Number nine, 
eat a balanced diet and skip unnecessary supplements. Our diet is a very influential factor in our immune system. Alalahanin lang po natin that there is no one food or a single supplement that has been proven to really boost the immune system or prevent disease. There are a lot of information that you can read online and get through your social media pages that actually lack strong medical evidence. Having said that, the following supplements that I'm going to mention reportedly have good immune boosting effects as seen in small scale studies. And para hindi naman sobrang haba ng video ko, you will see the recommended dosage and sources of these supplements in the description below. So just read about it there. I'm just gonna mention the supplements and what they do to help our immune system. First, we have our antioxidants, specifically vitamin C and vitamin E. They fight free radicals that damage our immune system. Next, we have zinc. So zinc is a mineral that is actually involved in our immune cells respond to fighting infection. So it's very important that you have adequate zinc in your diet. Next, we have beta-carotene which helps increase the number of our cells that fight the bacteria and virus and it also enhances their activity. And finally, we have garlic, a personal favorite of mine, always mixed in a lot of food that I eat, enhances and modulates our immune function. It's also important to limit our intake of processed foods, refined carbohydrates, and simple sugars. An increase or a spike in our blood sugar can actually increase our risk of getting infections and getting complications. There are many other vitamins and minerals that can actually help boost our immune function. The ones that I mentioned or the ones that I think are simple enough that you can easily incorporate into our diet and are accessible. Bottom line is if you feel that you won't get enough of these um, immune boosting nutrients through your diet, it's okay to take supplements. Basta remember that it's within the recommended dosage and that you do not neglect already proven health advice such as washing your hands and not touching your face. As a final note, since this COVID-19 is a new disease to all of us, we still don't know how to prevent or manage the complications and the damage that it causes. It is possible that one of us may be infected and may not be exhibiting symptoms. That's why it's very important to maintain good hygiene and social distancing so that we don't pass it on to high-risk individuals. So with that, I hope that this video was again entertaining, informative, and educational for all of you. I will try to think of other topics relevant to what's going on right now. If you have suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button. Bye!